it's, it's all about being on the same page. And I think there's a constant communication uh, that we've already started that we will continue to have uh, throughout each session. And I think it's important that we're all on the same page. Uh, we got to work well together, you know, from a standpoint of making sure that we complement each other and the things that we need to see in the off season. So we're preparing ourselves for the season. Uh, and Freddie's already mentioned a lot about having, you know, these one on one meetings with the coordinators, making sure that we implement uh, and have the things in place that we need. So I'm excited about that. That the bottom line is no matter what job you take, um, whether it's an hour meeting or a three hour meeting, you got to do your research from people that really know who they are because anybody can fool you. Just like, you know, when, when I was interviewing for a couple of head coaching jobs, I'd hope they'd asked people about me, not just taking my word for it because anybody can stand up there and tell you what you want to hear. And the proof is in, you want to know what kind of coach I am? Ask the guys I coached. Ask the guys I coached with. Don't ask me. If you want to know what kind of husband I am, ask my wife. If you want to know what kind of father I am, ask my, my child. That's what really matters. But the rest of it, you do your research and find out who the people are. And sure, there's going to be, you know, there's going to be times where, you know, when it gets tough, that's when you find out who people really are. Right now, this is the honeymoon. Had a great run, you know, the back half of the year. And we'll see. We've got a good young roster, and, and, I, and I like what I see so far, and hopefully they do in me. We've, what we've had the last two years in, in, in Minnesota is the uh, we were the least penalized special teams units in the league two years in a row. That's the mentality I'm, I'd like to bring here, and, and I think we're going to get that. Um, uh, I just we just hired an assistant, um, uh, Doug Coleman, who's going to work with me on special teams. He came from Dallas. He's been in Houston, and he's got the same mentality I do. We're going to play penalty-free football. We're going to play fast. We're going to play physical. We're going to play discipline. We're going to play with enthusiasm and passion, and we're going to help our football team win games. Um, I don't think that, you know, I, I don't want to go into a situation where I think, hey, we're going to go out and win every game for the Cleveland Browns. And that's that's not our role on special teams. Our role is to go out there and be a weapon in all six phases, in, including field goal and field goal block. Be a weapon, play great complementary football, and at the end of the day, let's hope we win the game. And, and that's where our mentality is going to be as we train these young men. He lived in Cleveland up until uh, I think 10 years old. Yeah, he's got that issue uh, with the slur that he yeah, he, he made and, uh, and he apologized for it yeah, then I mean, and, he's, and now. He, he's fortunate. They're, they didn't hide it. No, he's fortunate to have a job, really, in the NFL still. And good good for him that he's, you know, put he's apologizing for it and being uh, contrite about it. But, yeah, there's no getting around From that. From a element. standpoint of the uh, special teams, he continually talked about the six phases and he's talking about – all the, the the whole kicking game and the return game and all that. And uh, what was pretty impressive is his stats up in Minnesota where they were the least penalized special teams group. Yeah, less. The good news for him is the expectation level for special teams here is so low yeah, that is, it's almost impossible for him to not uh, eclipse it. All you have to do is not screw up, and you're a great special team right. in this town because – We've seen way too many penalties on special teams, uh, negative returns that should have been positive, uh, bungled kicks. Now, the punting has been good with Colquitt, obviously, so I don't want to throw him under the bus. But, yeah, just don't mess up. Be a part of a victory. Yeah, it'd be nice to get a kick return for a touchdown or a punt return for a touchdown or a yeah. punt block. Just, but how just about just catch fundamentally the ball. sound yeah. special teams? Catch the ball on a punt, go six, seven yards, no penalties, and, and, you, and you're in business on that. Yes. Munkin, on the other hand. <laughs> yeah, your buddy. He got he, – no, I, I have no problem with him. <laughs> um, he didn't win the press conferences. That's what you're going to ask. Maybe that's good because so many times good. coaches win and then when they yeah. lose. But uh, he, he, he said he had not – he would never had met Freddie Kitchens or John Dorsey. Does that surprise you? How do you get the job? Um, I mean, it must have been highly recommended. Yeah. I mean, he's obviously got credentials. A lot of people loved him. They say he dovetails with Kitchens. Maybe Munkin was in the hopper in, in case something fell through with Kitchens or yeah, there was an he, overrule in the, on the committee right. and somehow Kitchens didn't become the head coach. Maybe Munkin then is at least the OC and at most the coach. Who knows?